uh, Dr. Sachin, after reading the influence of deconstruction, which followed Yale School of Deconstruction, uh, I am eager to know the difference between Yale School of Deconstruction and how other critical approaches used deconstruction. Yeah. And that's uh, uh, very fascinating because you have almost two interpretations of interpretations here. Mm -hmm. What Derrida uh, talks about in structure, sign and play. Mm -hmm. So Yale school was primarily preoccupied with rhetorical and figurative analysis of literary text. And in demonstrating that literary text has a multiple range of meanings. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the most important preoccupation of Yale school. As against that, the other critical approaches like uh, cultural materialism or feminism, gender theory, post-colonial studies, new historicism, Marxism, psychoanalysis, all of them have been influenced by Derrida's uh, writing. Uh, for example, post-colonial theory are fascinated by deconstruction's ability to show that the, um, the texts or the discourse of the colonizer can be actually deconstructed from within. Okay. That the narratives of the master can be un dismantled mm -hmm. and the ideological assumptions behind the text can be exposed. Similarly, feminists are also very much interested in deconstruction because it deals with how to subvert the binaries, okay. especially the binary between male and female. Mm -hmm. And deconstruction provides tools for subverting this uh, patriarchal setup or patriarchal discourse. So feminists are interested in deconstructions and his ability to undermine patriarchy. Cultural materialists combine all this approach and what they are interested in is the emphasis on the materiality of language which Derrida keeps on emphasizing that language is a material construct and it has got ability to unmask the hidden ideological agendas and programs. So cultural uh, materialism also uses many ideas from Derrida. Mm -hmm. New historicism is also influenced by deconstruction and what uh, Louis Montrose, one of very important uh, new, uh, new historicists says that new historicism is interested in reciprocal concern between textuality of history mm -hmm. and historicity of text. So what he means to say is that text itself is a historical entity. Mm -hmm. It has got a historical context. It's shaped by history. Mm -hmm. At the same time, what we understand as history mm -hmm. is also through text. We can, means we can never have histories without text. Text can be oral or written or printed mm -hmm. or digital. But even then, text will be text. So history is textual. Mm -hmm. At the same time, literary texts are historical. So this reciprocal concern with the both is actually what Montrose says is the post-structuralist orientation of new historicism. So you can see that Derrida's ideas have been influential in a range of approaches, mm -hmm. not just in uh, deconstruction as one school of appro or approach. Mm -hmm. It has got its uh, uh, impact on multiple approaches to literary criticism. And that is why I think study of deconstruction is important for us as students of literature. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you.